Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessOfTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay. Hope everybody had a good day of trading. Uh, very aggressive action today. Uh, we'll talk about that uh, in a few minutes on the pivot roundup. So let's kind of get into it kind of where we are. So today was act two, right? Bulls had a very, very aggressive stampede yesterday up 1,700 points. Uh, big gap up again today. Uh, the euphoria from last night, the anticipation of, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel, Trump's words, um, you know, everything was good. Everything was good. We rallied. Everything was strong. 900 point rally. And then people started, you know, realizing and traders started realizing what actually was going on. And as aggressive as the last uh, 24 hours were, and they were, you know, very, very good, uh, aggressive rally in a lot of names, uh, very, very good action. People realized that this was nothing, okay, nothing but uh, kind of a tidal wave, kind of a little bit of a tidal wave in a massive tsunami, okay? And when you started hearing headlines today over and over and over again, you realize that, again, you know, again, we always realize and we, we, we acknowledge that there's going to be some very, very aggressive rallies, bullish, bullish, aggressive rallies in a bearer sentiment, kind of what we have with this massive catalyst uh, in front of us. But at the end of the day, people are always going to look at the big picture. And when you started seeing uh, headlines today, it was just amazing and absolutely amazing. You saw uh, France was the fourth country or is the fourth country to have uh, over 10,000 deaths. Again, you know, you could tell me as much as you want, 10 million, 20 million people in the country. What's 10,000? Okay. It's 10,000 people who died that they didn't need to die. Okay. That's just, again, we're speaking from the human side. One life is too many. Don't tell me that 10,000 is nothing. Uh, you had New York, New Jersey, uh, their single biggest rise in death totals in one day. Okay. I live in, I live in New Jersey. I lived in New York. All my friends live in New York. All my friends live in New Jersey. Again, a lot of people are dying. Okay. Uh, Times Square looks like um, kind of a, a, a picture from the movie Vanilla Sky. Remember that, uh, that movie Vanilla Sky with, with Tom Cruise? When he wakes up, he has a dream and he's walking into Times Square and he's by himself. That's what Times Square is. Okay. All the lights, all the action, all the excitement, all the tourists, everything's gone. The life is gone. Uh, everything was sucked out of, of, of Manhattan and New York. Again, there's so many people uh, under quarantined, are sick. It's just a disaster. It's an absolute disaster area. So the market, you know, started, you know, peeling off, uh, peeling off layer after layer and after layer, and then just totally realized, oh, wait a minute, two-day rally, big moves. We're coming into supply. We hit supply. And then next thing you know, uh, which was an, a really aggressive two-day run north of uh, north of 2,000 points, you had a 1,000 point reversal, 900 point reversal uh, in the Dow. And when everything was said and done, you look at the screen and you got a whole bunch of inverted hammers going into tomorrow's session with all these really aggressive, nasty headlines uh, still on the table. And people are still digesting them as they're uh, eating their dinner, as they're you know watching the evening news, which again, I think is, is a horrible way to kind of go through this mentally, but again, to each his own. Uh, and, and again, Trump was not messing around when he said the next two weeks from last week was going to be horrific. Yeah, that's what's happening. Again, guys, stay at home. There's, there's no magic formula. Every, every bit of data is saying that the best defense against this damn virus is to stay at home. Order food. Um, you know, if you don't have to go out, don't go out. Um, just again, just, just try to do everything possible to protect yourself. Uh, and protect your family. Very, very uh, important. But from the technical side, um, you know, look, I mean, look, look where we are right now. You had net, you had the cues hitting supply, hitting supply perfectly, inverted hammer. You had the IWM, right? IWM hitting supply, bears reclaim that 115 area, inverted hammer. These are, these are very bearish signs. Uh, the diamonds as well, though they didn't hit anything. You know, the diamonds had a big run. They, you know, the, the Dow rallied from 20,800 uh, to 23,600. Again, this is 
again, a big sell signal as well. And you start looking at the individual names, uh, Triple M with all their masks, again, big gap up. Inverted hammer closed way below the 50. The bears reclaimed the 50. The bears reclaimed the 150. The names are getting the 100. So this is bearish. So a lot of names. Intel, you could, you could go through You could go through a million charts. You're all going to see the same thing. So again, big, you know, big run, very aggressive run uh, for the bulls. And it appears, again, anything, look, anything is possible tomorrow. But again, if you're a betting man, and my whole my whole list tonight is is sell. I mean, it's, it's all sell. Again, if, if am I going to be right? Am I going to be wrong? Again, it doesn't make a difference. If I'm going to be right or wrong. I'm going to let price action dictate and wait to confirm uh, based on my prioritized due diligence, which is today. So going into tomorrow, again, you have to be. You have to be sell bias. Again, uh, after a run, for example, not that Intel is the end all be all, but after a run from you know 51. 51 to 61 in, in, in four days with an inverted hammer. Again, this is the most basic thing in candlesticks. Hammer bullish, inverted hammer bearer. So uh, again, cues uh, rejected into supply. Um, you know, we have to watch tomorrow. If the, if, the bulls, if the bulls start defending today's levels, great. You know, that's fantastic. They want to go higher, that's fantastic. Again, I'll be prepared from both sides. But again, the initial uh, value for tomorrow's session is on the sell side. So any gap up tomorrow will be sold. I'm telling you right now, any gap up to be, to, is going to be sold tomorrow uh, just because if you look at all the 60-minute channels, you know, whatever your favorite chart is, every stock, if they gaps up, it's going to go right into supply. So if you're from the trading asp aspect, you kind of want, like I'm flat, right? Like I'm flat going into, into uh, tomorrow's session. I want a gap up, right? I want a gap up because I want to see a clear, I want to see a clear rejection into supply, and then I want to see downward channels start to confirm. Now, if we get a gap down tomorrow, then obviously you're gonna to have to wait for the opening range lows on these 10 o'clock candles. But again, it's a much easier play. It's a much more, sim uh, more seamless way to look at it if they do gap into supply, get rejected, and start going green to red, uh, and then opening range low. So that's kind of my uh, viewpoint uh, going into uh, tomorrow's session. Uh, aggressive day today, very, very aggressive day. Um, very aggressive, let's just say that much. Very, very aggressive day. Uh, we had some pretty aggressive pivots, and we'll talk about them uh, individually. Um, shop, so shop, shop gapped up 10, 11 points. It got downgraded. Uh, one of the most highest probability play, okay, and, and again, it's not, again, I'm not reinventing the wheel here, but for all you new traders who've uh, kind of never come, you know, came across, anytime you get a stock that gaps up, okay, uh, on an overall market wedge uh, that gets downgraded, there's high probability it's going to go red in the day, okay, and before it goes red, you're going to start seeing lower highs taking place, especially on the 60 minute intervals. And this was, you know, this is a pretty high probability play. Uh, shop downgraded 399, held several times. That was a pre-market low three times. If it builds below, it can flush. Shop was good. It's not really something that I trade, but I traded it today. Okay. I traded it today because there was value. Okay. I traded smaller shares because again, that spread is just ridiculous, right? You got, sometimes you get a dollar 50 spread. It's, it makes like Amazon look like, uh, like trading series satellite radio. So we, you know, we had to kind of, you know, kind of like, you know, like get to these things smartly. So here's the 399, right? 399, 399, 399, 399. And this, this got destroyed, absolutely destroyed. It went, it went all the way down. The initial move went all the way down to 375. This was a $24 candle. Again, um, I shorted this thing, made some money on it. Uh, again, you can't do, there's no way you can do size with a stock trading sometimes with a $2 spread. But again, a pivot's a pivot's a pivot. So, uh, you know, nice trade there on Shopify. Uh, Netflix obviously never got to the 384, 385 level that needed to confirm, never got there. Uh, Apple, uh, 270, 60 needs to build. I didn't trade Apple. I wasn't even watching Apple. What the hell did it do? 270, 60. Where is that? 270, 60. It looks like it went to 271, 70. So I, I, I apologize, guys. I wasn't even watching Apple, uh, but it looks like it gave a dollar move uh, to the upside at the, at the morning. Um, Roku never got to the 93, 93, 20 area. So here's where, you know, here's where the upside pivot started working. Okay. Like really, really well. Um, number one, you had Amazon, not a big move, but, but again, I knew there wasn't going to be a big move here. Uh, 2027 needs to build. 
2038-2040 is supply. It, it kind of got into supply and missed it by a couple of points, but here is the 20, here is right here, this 20, 27 area. Once it started building, it went to uh, almost 236, so $10, $10 move there. Didn't quite make it to supply, but here is definitely the move of the day. And again, is, is there anybody that can, that can make a case that this is by far not the best trading stock? Upward channels, downward channels. When this thing goes, man, Tesla, Rockstar, absolute rock star. 545 needs to build. And look at look at the move that Tesla did. I, I said once it starts building that 545 and reclaims uh, and reclaims uh, the, the previous week's high, the delivery numbers uh, at 548. I, I said this thing has a shot to get to 560. So it took out 545, took out 548, went to 565. Why was 565 important? That was the supply zone into the daily supply. So $20 candle on Tesla. Huge move. I mean, huge, huge move. And a lot of you guys did really, really well. Um, again, the best stock ever. It really is the best stock ever. Uh, Wayfair got upgraded today. 76 needs to build. Here was Wayfair. Right here is the Wayfair chart. Here's a 60 minute view on Wayfair. Here's a 76, right? I took out 76, went to uh, almost 80. Big, big move on Wayfair. Uh, Facebook, uh, 70, 70, 80, 171 needs to build. Again, some very aggressive things, man. Really, really aggressive. So here it is right here, the 171. Look at the move on Facebook. Went all the way up to 73 and a half. Uh, so big move on Facebook. Uh, ZM got destroyed absolutely destroyed uh 118 if it builds below can flush to 115. forget about 115 this thing stopped at 115 gave it the middle finger and went went to like 109 and change look look at zm huge move huge move down again got downgraded today here is the whole channel here at 118 right 118 118 118 it took out 118 here's the 115 basically just gave it the middle finger and went all the way down uh to 109.57 huge huge move uh, in ZM, uh, NVIDIA didn't do anything. NVIDIA put its first move uh, to 278, went to 278 and a quarter, never gave a second entry, so it went sh literally straight down from there. Uh, ZM take on the way down, Amazon take on the way up, uh, Tesla obviously take on the way up, uh, Shopify, nice trade. I'm, sh I'm shocked I, I made money on Shopify. I'm just, it's usually, it's, these names I usually don't make money on. Uh, but this is, I mean, it went straight down. It went straight down there. Uh, Tesla, again, uh, ridiculous move, shop, sweet move. So here is where, here is where, again, folks, I, I, I very, I, I urge, I urge all you new traders, just listen to me very carefully, okay? The reason why you're a new trader, okay, is you don't have any experience. You don't, okay? You don't have any experience. You think you do, you think you're smarter than everybody else. You think that you, what you have to say with ridicule and these cute little comments, it's cute, right? It's cute. The problem is when you get on the wrong side of a trader who's been doing it for 15, 20, 25, 30 years, right? It's lights out for you. And somebody on, you know, I, I posted, the, you know, this is a monster pivot, 156 support on Boeing. If it builds below, it can flush. So somebody on, on stock, let's say again, Let's let's take it from the source. Ha ha, shorty, you're in trouble. Yada 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 goes to 140. So moral of the story is very simple, folks. If you're a new trader, okay, your goal for the first three to five years, try to get as much information as possible, okay, as much information as possible. If you're so happy, if you're so fortunate enough to have a relationship with a trader who's been trading for a decade, decade and a half two decades, try to pick their brain, right? Try to pick their brain, try to get as much information as possible. Because, again, because they have the experience, okay? What you're doing is trying to prove that your opinion matters. My opinion doesn't matter, okay? So why should your opinion matter? Price action pays, okay? Your opinion doesn't. And especially if you are trying to ridicule or make cute little comments to somebody who's been doing this more than 15 minutes, okay? you're probably gonna wind up on the wrong side of the trade. So again, be humble, okay? This is the, the, the greatest business in the world that's gonna, it's gonna humble you faster than you can blink, okay? It's not about bravado, it's not about pounding your chest, I'm right, you're wrong. If price action tells you you're wrong, you're gonna bleed, and you're gonna bleed very, very aggressively. So please, save the opinions, nobody cares. Price action pays, your opinion doesn't. 
So here was Boeing, huge move guys. Congratulations for all you guys who grabbed Boeing. Forget about this move towards the end. This was a big move as well. But this, you see this whole channel here? Guys, everybody see this whole channel? Look how many hours of data. One, two, three, four, five, six, yet seven hours of data. It broke 156. You knew, you knew this thing was gonna get, was gonna get destroyed. You just knew it. Uh, 156 on one single candle it goes down to 158. You got an $8 candle and then later in the day, it takes out the lows and goes all the way down to 140. So again, everybody falls in love with their positions, fall in love with reality, be responsible, don't be a dreamer. It's all about concrete evidence that's gonna help you in your next week, in your next move of either protecting capital or trying to get aggressive to get more of it. But again, please stay humble, or the market will humble you. Again, it's not, it's not me, trust me, it's not me, it's the market gods. They will completely remove you from your money. It's very, very simple. So please, chill out, right? Chill out. So uh, Boeing, again, just destroyed, just absolutely destroyed. And then you had some upside pivots towards the afternoon. Uh, 551 needs to build to wake up. Again, this is what we talk about, a sneaky pivot, right? Here's a sneaky pivot on, on, on right here. Here was the 551. Right here is the 551. We talked about the 545 went to 60. You see this candle here? This is what we talk about, a sneaky pivot. 551 went all the way up to uh, almost 562. Killer move there as well. Uh, there was another scalp on Amazon. And as you can see, man, it's just one after another. This is a, this is a very aggressive day. Uh, 2020 needs to build on Amazon. Here was Amazon right over here. Right here is the 2020 and it went to uh, 2028. So again, nice move there on Amazon as well. And that's it, and that's it. And as, as my man uh, Jean-Francois said, there's nothing easy about trading, but sometimes you're gonna, you're gonna get a straightforward move and that's what it's all about. So uh, going into tomorrow, guys, again, you know, I'm so biased. I mean, how can you not be? You know, I'm so biased. It was a massive reversal, uh, massive reversal here in the tape towards the end of the day. We have all these ugly headlines coming out tomorrow. Again, you know, if the bulls are gonna, Make a stand. They're gonna make. They're gonna need a lot of work tomorrow. So guys, please, if you are a new trader, respect the game. Respect the people who've been doing this for a very, very long time. It's not a pissing contest. Okay, you're not. You're not gonna get any brownie points of being right. I'm wrong every single day, every day. Okay, every day, including Saturday and Sunday. Ask my wife. She'll tell you. But the point is, you don't need to be stubborn and you don't need to be aggressive to anybody else. Nobody really cares at the end of the day. So guys, God bless, stay safe, and I'll see you all on the field tomorrow. Take care. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.